hey gang just know this that if we disagree that's okay um remember if i didn't love you i wouldn't be sharing this with you so it's all out of love thanks for watching y'all have a great night I gotta, I, 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 I gotta ask you, do you know the Lord Jesus Christ? Uh, Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except by me. There's no other way a person can be forgiven than by trusting in Christ. Jesus told us how things were going to be leading into the tribulation period. Folks, the days that we live in, these haven't ever happened before. Listen, you have to trust in Christ. I implore you to turn to Christ. He told us it would be this way. He told us about the global kingdom that would come, the kingdom of the Antichrist, how there would be this type of an environment where every, all of our buying and selling would be controlled. Folks, we're about ready to enter into it. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, let's ask him to forgive you. Surrender your life to him. Repent of your sins. Listen, the time is short. No man has promised tomorrow. Jesus is coming. Make sure you trust in him. If you trust in him, he'll forgive you. If you trust him, you mean it, you turn to him. Jesus himself said, I will in no way cast out anybody who comes to me. Listen, until next time, God bless. and pay attention to what in the world is really going on. This is about these globalists. This is about crushing you and conquering you. And, 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 and do not be deceived. Listen, this is just more evidence that the Bible is true and that Jesus is coming. We need to wake up. We need to wake up. Satan controls all of academia, all of the media, all of the money, everything you're told. All its symbols are everywhere, the color blue, the color purple, butterflies. Butterflies are the uh, huge symbol of Satan, the transformation from what you are into what it wants you to be. So it's subconsciously putting that image of metamorphosis out there. You have sorcery being practiced on you. You have all kinds of control methods you couldn't even comprehend. Those who are in control of the world are anti-Christ. It's obvious. They're puppets of Satan. The anti-Christ consciousness and control system here was already there back then. The anti-Christ or diseased cancerous consciousness is what murdered him then and it has risen since. Understand that. That's what happened. Actually believe we were born of light. We were made of light. We were made of love. Oh mystery. If we have tried to place you into a box, break it. Many people in these last days have been seduced into a off brand of Christianity which is not Christianity at all. He's giving me a headache. Yeah, tell me about it. I just took the hackers months to figure out how to do this. It's time for you to wake up. This isn't a game.
Chaos. The Great Seal. First thing you want to look at is the back of the US dollar bill. Right off top, you see the Illuminati all-seeing eye. This is claimed to be the eye of providence, which translates to the eye of God. But this is the eye of Horus, or what I refer to as the eye of Lucifer, the light bringer, Illuminati, enlightened ones, Lucifer, the light bearer. You can see how those go together. Above the eye is the phrase Anuit Coiptus. The official translation as given by the U.S. State Department, U.S. Mint, and U.S. Treasury is he has favored our undertakings. When they say he, they imply God, but not the God most people think. The God they're referring to is none other than the God of this world, according to the Bible. Satan, Lucifer, call it what you want, argue if it's real or not, but this is what they believe. And if they don't, they sure do a fantastic job at putting on extremely intricate and massive rituals all the time in his honor. From award shows, Since we're given a rock award tonight, who wants to pray to the devil with me? Dear Dark Lord Satan, hope everything's good with you. Uh, I'm doing fine myself. Just want to say hi and uh, ask you to grant tonight's nominees continued success in the music industry. Thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration on how to play this role. Olympic opening ceremonies. To Super Bowl halftime shows. and music videos. Even random events, like the time they opened the world's longest tunnel in Switzerland called the Goddard Base Tunnel. You best start believing in Bible stories, cause you're in one. My friend said back in February of 2020, hey, guess what? We're going into lockdowns and they're going to take your freedoms. Did you think that was crazy? When uh, the governor of California said, hey, just two weeks, just two weeks. Don't meet for church. Don't meet for church. Here we are almost two years later going through the same nonsensical lockdowns that obviously aren't working. Listen, folks, this isn't about... Um, the virus. This is about deception. Jesus said this, and I'm going to close with this thought. Jesus said this in Matthew chapter 24, when the disciples said, what's the sign of your coming and the end of the age? He said this, be careful that no one deceives you. Very first sign. Second Thessalonians chapter two, he said, uh, the Bible says in the last days, God will send strong delusion among the people that they'll believe the lie. In Revelation chapter 18, I'll close it off with this. When God is judging the world at the end of the days, he said, the sound of the harpist musicians and Flutes and trumpeters shall not be heard in you anymore. No more music will be there. No craftsman of any craft shall be found in you anymore. The sound of a millstone shall not be heard in you, in you anymore. The light of a lamp won't shine in you anymore. The voice of the bridegroom and the bride shall not be heard in you anymore. In other words, it is game over. You are judged. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. 
and they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about and the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Hi everyone. I'm glad we're back today. I want to tell you about God. God is Jesus. And Jesus is God. And Jesus came to earth to die for our sins and he raised from the grave so that we can can be can have eternal life and live with him forever in heaven it's a great thing to talk about because god is the one who will set you free from sin and sin is the bad stuff we do and the bad stuff we think and the bad stuff we say and the bad stuff we do and the bad stuff we say like lying and not being truthful. Sin. sin is just on our hearts. But God takes it and puts it on his own son while he's dying on the cross. He took our sin so that we can live with him forever. And that's amazing. It's amazing that God takes our sin and gives it to and gives it to Jesus. And Jesus dies on the cross and graves from the grave. And he and we can have eternal life with him. That's crazy. But the, I just wanted to talk to you guys about that because I know I love Jesus. I just love you. And I want to say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.